what is batch determination and where it would be used. So batch determination can be done in any place when you are doing a, a, a transaction. What is the most common transaction where the batch determination would be required? First thing for raw materials, you have received the batch, right? You have received the batch, you have given its batch B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, and they all have a different expiry dates. Okay, then the first thing comes is your production order. And in your production order, you have said that you will be requiring RM. Now for RM, which batch we need to use it? Whether batch B1, B2, B3, B4, what, which different batch we need to use it? That you need to put it manually. Either we put it in the production order level, or when we do the production order confirmation, where basically RM is getting consumed, there we maintain that which batch out of this we need to consume it. What you want from the system, we have expiry dates and I want to consume my batch based on the expiry date. Now this is the one which is going to expire first. If this is the one which is going to expire first in my either at the production level, uh, when I release the production level system should automatically decide and give me the batch three need to be used here. Or when I'm doing the production order confirmation at that time system should suggest me the batch three need to be used here. So that is called batch determination rather than you manually putting based on some characteristics system would be identifying it based on the expiration date or based on any other characteristic system would be identifying which batch it should be. So this can be there into the consumption or if you if you are transferring it for one store location to another store location from your store, you are transferring it to the production. For that transfer also, you want that material which is going to expire first in your store that you want to quickly transfer to the production so that that can be consumed, right? At that place is also, you would require a batch determination in the MIGO transaction. So batch determination can happen in MIGO transaction. Batch determination can happen in this case example I have given here in your CO01 production order create transaction. It can happen in CO15 or CO11N transaction also the batch determination can happen. So you need to maintain some set of data. You need to maintain some configuration. You need to maintain some condition records. And based on that system would be able to automatically determine the batch. The third place where the batch determination would be required is your sales order. Again, the sales order when you generate the delivery, in the delivery, you are having a picking, right? At this point, you want to determine the batch. And to generate your pick list, system should be giving you the batches that for each line item, which batch need to be picked and that you want based on the expiry date. The materials which is going to expire first, you want to dispatch them also first. Okay, at this point, you would be using your sales order. Your at the time of delivery or picking VL02N, at VL02N, you would be doing a batch determination. So at the multiple different different places, the batch determination can be required.